looks like in the bottom. Is that the World Trade Center? Someone jumping off of this. The World Trade Center in the background. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> One of the most uh, disturbing images that a photographer had taken from uh, that day. 9-11 is very symbolic to a lot of people, and uh, it's just something that some people, I don't know, I mean, it, it kind of creeps me out a little bit. Um, it's just amazing. No one knows for sure if this man is dead already in this picture, or if he's just that calm. <laughs> um, nonetheless, though, uh, that picture is just, they call it the falling man. And, like I said, the photographer took it. I think he was from CNN. Um, and he just took the picture. It was a random shot of the World Trade Center. And it just so happened that he caught that man falling. Um, the one year there, on the morning of 9-11-2001 was when you know, the World Trade Center would cease to exist. Um, there are plenty of photos like this one, but this one really Um, I'm going to be discussing the different parts that led to, from building it to destroying it to what happens next. And it's um, not that boring, I hope, so just stay with me. Um, the towers were built by a designer named Minoru Yamasaki. Uh, the building took place from 1966 to April 4th, 1973, and that's a long time. <laughs> but uh, it was totaled at uh, $1.1 billion, and at the time it was obviously a lot. If it's a lot now, you can just imagine that. Um, it was 1,400 feet tall each tower, and they were each 110 stories. And um, from there, they just started uh, leasing out different uh, stories, different offices in there to include daycares, restaurants and uh, a whole bunch of other things. This is what it looked like before it was destroyed. Um, pretty monuments. Before um, the Sears Tower, these were the tallest buildings on this side of the earth. And uh, the Sears Tower was built years later, or finished years later, and it became the tallest one in the, on this side. So this is the plan. I was. Uh, this is the North Tower and the South Tower, and then I think that one up there is the one that collapsed after these two fell. Um, obviously, everything in that section just was pulverized after they uh, all collapsed. Yeah. Excuse me. And uh, all that now is just. Uh, I'm coming to it. <laughs> um, it wasn't the first attack of its kind. Um, on February 26, 1993. There were four men that were loaded, had loaded 1.1 tons of explosives onto a van, drove under the WTC, and uh, they just walked out like if nothing happened. Cameras caught everything, and seconds later, minutes later, it just blew up. Um, Ten people were killed, and they injured many others. There was a, a 200-foot hole. Uh, there was $300 million worth of damage, and up until now, it's still, it's still, uh, all that right there at the, at the top, all this up here, were, uh, like, businesses, and everything else underneath was just parking. So they drove one level underneath, and it destroyed, there was another level underneath the van, and another level up top, and obviously there was another tower, and it just destroyed all three levels and made this 200-foot crater. And uh, a bunch of businesses were, were gone. And uh, they were all sentenced to consecutive, no, I'm sorry, they were all sentenced each to 240 years in prison. And uh, they found two more in 1997 that were convicted of helping, for helping. And uh, they were sentenced to, I believe, it was 97 years each. And uh, they really had no chance, considering that they had all these. You know, they had over, what is it, a thousand, a thousand pieces of evidence, and that's more than enough to convict them, aside from the 207 witnesses that they had going against them, and uh, it's just 
amazing that you know this uh, trade center can withstand so much. Um, it's not the only one of its kind either. There are many of them across the world, but this one stands out because we are like pretty much the epicenter of business. Everyone wants to trade with us, and we want to trade with them. And uh, on 9/11, it would start another attack, terrorist attack. American Airlines Flight 11 and United Airlines Flight 175 were going both were both going to LA. Uh, they were both Boeing 767s-200. And they each carried 11 crew members, and Flight 11 carried 56 passengers, and one of the 175 carried 81. And uh, they all have uh, records showing, by the time they got on, they have videos showing and pictures showing where they, the terrorists got on the plane. And uh, they distributed it. I uh, wasn't able to get a picture, but sorry for that. So, at 9.17, the first uh, airplane hit the North Tower at 8.47, or, I'm sorry, yeah, the first one hit the North Tower at 8.47, that was Flight 11, American Airlines, and it was followed by Flight 175, and it, was, it hit at 9.03. Um, pretty much people, there was a man taking video of World Trade, or I'm sorry, uh, street, Right underneath the World Trade Center, he was like blocks away. I'm sure you guys have seen this. And he's just taking a documentary for, I forgot what company. And you can hear the planes above, and he turns around, and he, as soon as he turns around, you can see the plane hit the side of the, of the building when everyone starts. It's pretty amazing. Um, by 9.17, the FAA closed uh, the New York City tunnels and bridges and airports, and by 9.40, for the first time in flight history, they had closed the air traffic. By 9.55, the top, South Tower collapses, and it's followed by the North Tower at 10.28. At 11 a.m., Mayor Rudy Giuliani orders an evacuation of Manhattan and the headquarters building for the U.N. At 12.30, the Los Angeles Airport and the San Francisco Airport evacuate and shut down. Uh, the rescue efforts began at 7 p.m. and kept going for a week. The city then declared at uh, 745 that half of 400 firefighters and 58 uh, police officers were uh, still missing and the 9-11 memorial as we talk as we speak that's what it's going to look like it's the biggest man-made waterfalls and it's an acre worth of pools um, it's all going to be covered by trees and then the two memorials or the three memorials of those so it looks like now and it just shows you know what we have come what we have been able to overcome as far as the attack. Yeah. That's how it looks like now, 